Hi there, my name is Amy McElroy. Today I'm presenting on my summer internship at the University of Texas at Austin. Today's agenda includes about me, moving into the internship, how I found it, what the process was like, and details on where I interned. Then I'll go over the work involved and the internship. And then I will close the presentation with my reflections on the overall experience. Let's get started. About me. I am the communications intern for technology resources at the University of Texas at Austin. I am also a graduate student at the University of North Texas and expect to earn my master's degree in technical and professional communications in December 2023. I am also working part time for my employer who agreed to let me have this summer to intern and finish my master's degree program. I am working on average 10 hours a week for my previous employer while working 40 hours at my internship. My overall professional focus is on communications, content, and web strategy. Now, moving into the internship, let's start with how I found it. I started applying for internships in early spring semester with a desire to work in Austin at a major company or organization. I landed a few interviews with two major companies. I went through multiple rounds of interviews, but I never ended up getting selected. It was coming close to the end of the spring semester and I knew I needed to find something. So I asked a friend if she knew of any opportunities at the University of Texas, where she works. She connected me with her former boss and I met virtually with him and another team member. They provided a document of tasks and asked if I could submit my approaches to those tasks. I did as they requested and then was offered the internship for the summer. The University of Texas at Austin has a massive infrastructure with several portfolios. My internship at UT is under Technology Resources, also known as TREX. TREX is part of UT's Focus Business Solutions portfolio. To be brief, TREX does a lot. They serve several clients and department units with various services ranging from desktop support, server support, and over 50 plus apps. Their mission is to deliver client system solutions and support that help them serve the campus. Here is the organizational chart of the team structure of TREX. I report to the director at the top and have had the opportunity to meet with several team members when conducting subject matter expert and stakeholder interviews. I'll get into those interviews a little later on in the presentation. My work environment is entirely remote most of the Trex team is remote, but some occasionally work on campus a few times a week. Everyone has been so supportive of my work as an intern. I was surprised to see how much people were willing to answer questions and give helpful advice and tips. I also have quite a bit of freedom in working as their intern. The director has been very encouraging of my work and does not micromanage. The work for the internship was defined during the interview process. Trex was seeking help in four distinctive areas involving communications. They need help improving their website, aligning the SharePoint site with the website, developing an emergency response communication strategy, and creating standard email templates. Here are the software tools used to complete the tasks mentioned in the previous slide. Emma, an email marketing software tool that provides tools and features to help create email templates, subscriber management, analytics, and reporting. Currently, Technology Resources uses Microsoft Outlook to send out its communications. Qualtrics, a cloud-based platform for creating and distributing web-based surveys. The survey tool offers much more than other tools I am familiar with, like SurveyMonkey or Wufoo. Miro, a collaborative online whiteboarding platform that allows me to visualize the process of communication workflows. Microsoft Teams, which is where I communicate and collaborate with Trex staff and other UT staff. And SharePoint, this is where Trex houses a lot of content for not only support documentation, but department procedures, weekly updates, etc. Okay, now that you know the work environment and what tools I use, let's get into the two projects that I'm working on. The first project involves developing a content strategy roadmap for the Trex website. To create the best strategy for Trex, I started by reviewing the core values and objectives of the Trex website. I then performed a competitor analysis amongst peer-like institutions and other departments within the Focus Business Solution portfolio. I then created two surveys for internal Trex staff 
and an external survey uh, for clients that track serves. Following the surveys, I conducted several stakeholder interviews. Based on the objectives, competitor analysis, survey data, and stakeholder insights, I can perform a SWOT analysis next and determine the best strategy to enhance the TREX website for its staff and clients. This project is still ongoing since I'm in the process of finishing my SWOT analysis and recommendations. The tools used for this project were Qualtrics, SharePoint, and Microsoft Teams. The second project is how to help TREX ensure they send out timely communications based on specific scenarios and have those emails in a consistent format and design. To start, I reviewed all previous communications sent out by TREX. I then developed a template using UT's brand guidelines and organized them by type of emergency or situation. The second phase of this project is developing workflows for various emergency scenarios that ensure TREX can communicate quickly using the appropriate template and response plan. The tool I used for this project was Emma and also Miro to create visual flowcharts. I'm working closely with the director to develop the scenario workflows. Next, I'll discuss the reflections on my internship experience. Skills I've learned. I have over 14 years of experience in communications with one organization so far in my career. UT is the second place I've worked in regarding communications. With that, I had the opportunity to work with several and various types of subject matter experts, which challenged me and also provided insights and information to help develop my SWOT analysis. I also learned to take the initiative and go for it. I tend to shy away from expressing my ideas and solutions, but I learned during this internship that Trex is looking to me independently and to steer these projects and provide action ideas and solutions. Finally, I discovered a new world of collaboration at UT that I don't have at my current employer. Trex, SharePoint site, weekly updates, and use of MS Teams have given me ideas on implementing these at my full-time job after I complete the internship. How UNT has prepared me. The most relevant course that aligns with this internship is TECM 5200, Content Strategy and Technical Communications. I am doing the exact objectives of that course by completing a content audit, competitor analysis, stakeholder interviews, and a SWOT analysis, and then providing a strategic roadmap, just like we did in the course. TECM 5750, measuring usability and user experience for professional and technical communication, also prepared me well when developing my surveys for internal and external stakeholders and best practices for UX and web design. Finally, TECM 5191, Digital Literacies for Professional Communicators helped prepare me through reflection writing. That course made me a better self-learner by giving me strategies on how to improve my confidence and when to seek help. Challenges I've faced during my internship involved learning the jargon. University systems are full of acronyms and understanding those can take time. UT has quite a few. EBITS, TREX, sometimes called T-REX, FBS, FAS, FAMIS, the only other challenge found was learning the roles and team functions. When conducting interviews with various team members, it was daunting to understand who did what and where fully. To close out this presentation, I'll share what I would change if I could. First is the work environment. I wish it could have been a hybrid work environment. Trex is mainly remote and may have several office locations throughout campus, so I could see where this was not doable. I wish I had the opportunity to meet Trex team in person versus remotely in various one-on-one -on -one interviews. And finally, I wish I had more time. 10 weeks is insufficient to see the projects fully through to the finish line. I also wish I had more time with the team and stakeholders. Thank you for watching this presentation and listening to my internship experience. I also wanna thank Dr. Kim for her guidance and mentoring me and Rich James for the opportunity to intern for him and the Trex team.